Hello, welcome to today's message. It's my prayer that the Lord God Almighty will bless us with this word in Jesus' name and even take away our concerns, the burdens we have deep inside our hearts that no human being can see. May the Lord take them away from us. Today we're reading Psalm 147 verses 8 and 9. Who covereth the heavens with clouds? Who prepareth rain for the earth? Who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains? He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens who cry. Have you ever wondered how some of these species, some of these creatures that God has created, some of these organisms, how they manage to survive for thousands of years without getting going into extinction. It is a misery. For instance, the earth one, we see drought in different places. I have lived in the village. I have used earth worms to, as bait to catch fish. Sometimes you see the whole place dried up. The whole place everywhere is dry. But as soon as rain falls, give it some hours. You see this earthworm is coming up. Uh, they defecate on the surface of the ground, so you will know that there are earthworms here. Have you ever wondered how they manage to survive? Surviving is not easy. Surviving the harsh weather condition, sometimes natural disasters, this is not easy, but God takes care of these creatures, those who cannot take care of themselves, he knows how to take care of them all. Today, I want to talk about God takes care of it, and he will take care of you. He takes care of them, and he will take care of you. Look at what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feeded them. Are you not much better than they? You are more than ravens. If these creatures can survive, even though they don't toy, they don't know how to reap, they can sow, if God takes care of them, how much more will your heavenly Father take care of you. The last message I talked about, cast your burden upon him. Please cast your burden upon him. Sometimes we are too worried. The Psalm, nine, Psalm 147 verse 9 says, he give it to the beast his food. And look, the, the funny thing is that the beast of the field that feed on flesh they feed on other animals. But God still provides for them. The lion doesn't die of hunger. God provides for the lion. Then, and to the young ravens, which cry. So even God hears the cry of the young ravens, not even the old one, the young ones that cannot provide for themselves. Oh, I wish we can see the very mind of God and know how much He cares about us. God cares about us. He cares. Please cast your burden upon Him for He cares for you. Let's not get carried away by so many cares. The more we live, the more the needs of men. Some time ago, there was nothing like data. There was not, nothing like a mobile phone. I know these things are good. They make life easier for us, but they also add to our concerns. Please, let's try to simplify life for ourselves. I'll try to talk about that in another video simplifying lives for ourselves so that our concerns will not become a problem to us 
Let us pray. Lord, thank you for always providing for us. Help us to understand how much you love us, how much you care for us, so that we will not get carried away by our concerns, by our needs that we are unable to meet. We know that if we follow you, you will provide all that we ever need. For Christ will provide all we need according to his riches in glory. Lord, help us to cling to you in all faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. Please like and comment and subscribe to this channel. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.